every human being has a deep, deep, deep inner call to bend. And the bending is not just in the physical, like kneeling in the church, it's in the emotional, it's in the tears of joy, in that bending, the tears that flow in that moment when the whole system is in surrender. Surrender to what? Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you for taking my question. I had this phase a few weeks ago where I was drawn to Christian churches, even though I'm not Christian, and I had this strong urge to sit in there and bend down <laughs> and get to my knees physically and just be. And I don't know what drew me there because I have no history with, with churches or Christianity. And at the same time, I discovered your teachings, and I think that's that impulse draw me to your teachings, and I got interested because I couldn't really figure out what what I was doing <laughs> because it just happened somehow. I don't know. And um, yeah, my question is: I don't really want to be picky with words, but I'm a German speaker, as you may <laughs> hear. I'm from Austria, and the word surrender in German can mean different things. To surrender could mean to give yourself up in terms of surrender to an enemy or it could be totally devote yourself so my question would be if you could give me some help with the word because i'm a little bit afraid that i understand it not in the right way and that may, might lead to some problems on my way so the word that comes to me which helps in the understanding of the word surrender for a german speaker would be Hingabe, Demut. These two words together. Hmm? Hingabe, Demut. And the idea of surrender being that you lay down your weapons and you're helpless and defenseless is not the way it is used in this context. It actually comes from the Sanskrit word Samarpan, which means giving yourself into, fully into the experience of Truth. Every part of your being is given into that experience. And when you got pulled into a church and you got you were made in a sense by life to sit to kneel in that church that is life telling you time to start bending time to surrender how many times in a day do you bend for anything actually even to clean the floor, you don't bend. You don't bend for anything. And that is the whole problem that even that chance and that opportunity to kneel down, which was given to your grandfather's generation, has been taken away from you. Even that is not there. And at the same time, every human being has a deep, deep, deep inner call to bend. And the bending is not just in the physical, like kneeling in the church, it's in the emotional, it's in the tears of joy, in that bending, the tears that flow in that moment when the whole system is in surrender. Surrender to what? To life itself, to the Truth of this existence. Whether it's Soul or Truth or Source or it's the experience of the entire system, of the materiality, of the emotions, of the thoughts, of your entire creative ability. It's about being in that unity state with life itself, with the Truth of this living. That's why you get pulled into the Church, because life is telling you, so now, enough now, start bending. 
and then you 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 come across a video of this teaching. Why does that happen to you? Because it's the time. And this is a teaching of surrender. What is the German translation in your head for surrender? Uh, the one that you used is actually the one that is close to my heart and that I myself would use, Demut oder Hingabe, but the other word would be sich ergeben, that would be in terms of an uh, enemy attacking you, that mm -hmm. would surrender, so that's why I was drawn actually to Hingabe, but I just wanted to check in with you and then, yeah. Yes, Hingabe has a little tinge of the religious, but we can work with that for the moment, Yeah. until you start learning Sanskrit. <laughs> right. <laughs> but don't worry about it, you know, you have nothing to lose anyway. If you look at it from a whole different point of view, I mean, what's the big deal? What is your name? Philip. Philip. So what is this Philip? What is the big thing that Philip is going to lose anyway, if he sich ergeben to somebody, or surrenders, or uh, lays down his weapons, or whatever it is? Which enemy is there that's coming to get you anyway? Even if you were sich ergeben to the Soul, or to Source, what actually is there that is being given up in that process? Nothing, zero. It's a, it's a body with a name. It's That's my you. Thinking, yeah, I'm right. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing much more to it, if you think about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And I'm not trying to, to diminish or to reduce who you are. I'm saying that this body has a name, and it has an origin, and it's comprised of all of this. And the surrender process is what brings you to yourself. It brings you into the awareness of what this is. Yeah. It doesn't take you away from yourself, it brings you to yourself. You were pulled into the Church, into surrender, and it is not a religious thing there. That Church was just a, a place which for you is possible, you have a cultural connect with that place. You know that you can kneel in a church, it's there in your genetic inheritance. And so you did that, you know. Just as a as an Indian would maybe kneel in front of a guru, because we have a tradition of living masters in India. It is a land of living masters. So they kneel in front of the living master. And you come from that tradition. So it's easier for you to kneel in front of the cross. The point is that something life is telling you. Time to bend, Philip, time to bend. And bend means bend. It means physically bend, emotionally, conceptually, transformatively. Unity consciousness, pluriform consciousness, the entire system, the materiality is the base of it, and all that goes with it is in bending, it's just in surrender. Surrender, surrender. And then you're ready, you're fit to live life. You're a man full of a future of brightness, maybe with a nice wife and a few children, something real. In Gabe. Thank you so much. If I may, just a quick last question. If I'm not at the moment able to attend one of your immersives, would you say there's another way to maybe go deeper and learn from your teaching more than just watching YouTube videos? Or could you just maybe say, give me some advice? Yes, I think that's more than enough if you can't make it to an immersive. Watch the videos. None of us are disciplined enough to sit down and do anything. So, I mean, we do, we do things, but like writing the books and all, this just doesn't happen. But this is also, you know, it's a teaching that will make its way to everyone who needs it. Somehow it'll happen. Right now it's this way, through the videos, you do whatever the videos speak about. When you can come to an immersive, you come. One day you'll be able to attend, and that's what you should aim for, and then you can learn in the presence. Until then you learn from the videos. Actually, you can just do it yourself also, you just have to feel that Source, just move into that surrender state, as I did it before with you, guided you into it. Powerful experience, you know. You live like that as much as possible. 
and then you won't worry so much about the semantics of surrender <laughs> Thank you, Namaskar, Namaskar.